<laughs> oh my goodness, did you guys see that new Washington Post article about Trump? Oh, oh, you mean the one where uh, Steve Bannon warned him about the 25th Amendment and Trump just went, what's that? <laughs> Such an idiot. Oh, my God. oh God, what a dum-dum. <laughs> uh, but hey, what is the 25th Amendment? Oh. Uh, that's um, that's the one. That's the one about impeachment, right? Oh, actually, it's uh, well something that has to do. I don't know either. I mean, I've never really sat down and read the Constitution. Huh. Okay, so I guess the Twenty Fifth Amendment gives the president's cabinet the right to remove him from office. They can do that. Seems like it. You know, I knew about all the the uh, free speech right to bear arms, plead the fifth stuff, but turns out the Constitution's got a lot going on. <laughs> wow, like, like what else? Oh, um, let's see. Like, did you know that the Third Amendment gives the president's cabinet the power to remove him from office? Yeah, oh. fifth. Oh wait, did you know that the Third Amendment says that we uh, don't have to house the military in our quarters? Okay, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Now, I... Did know that, not the exact verbiage, but of course, you don't have to let a soldier live in your house. For real? Yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense. Like, during the Revolutionary War time, you had to make that a law, but now it just doesn't apply. Yeah. So I don't have to keep letting that gunnery sergeant stay in my house? <laughs> Wait, so the, the guy living in your house is not like your roommate? No! That's Gunnery Sergeant Hasselback of the 1st Battalion! He just showed up in my house one day and insisted on staying! Jimmy, you do not have to let a soldier live in your house. Read the Third Amendment. Okay, hold on. I gotta pull it back up. I've had a lot of mimosas! <laughs> no soldier shall, in time of peace, be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner. See, that's it! You see, we're not in a time of peace. We're in a war on terror. That's why everyone one has soldiers living in their homes. <laughs> None of us have soldiers living in our homes. And it goes on to say, nor in time of war, but as permissible by law. So what? I'm supposed to exercise all of my rights? I have the right to free speech, but I don't always speak, do I? No, sometimes I'm quiet. <laughs> and besides, what if I want that soldier to stay in my house? Does this guy even pay rent? No, he's a soldier! <laughs> Free room and board is the least I can do. Okay, well where does he sleep? In the master bedroom. And where do you sleep? On the floor. <laughs> or as he likes to call it, the sippy zone. <laughs> Look, do what you want. As for me, I'm gonna get another drink. Garcon. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, look, I have to get these over to that table full of soldiers that we have to give free food and lodging to. <laughs> Has nobody read the Constitution? Civilian Jamie! <laughs> Let me tell you one goddamn thing! Why are you not answering your goddamn phone? I left it in the car? I don't need your excuses, Jimmy! Let me tell you something! At 1800 hours tonight, a female is going to come over and have intercourse with me. I am going to need you to move your barracks from the living room to the laundry room. Proceed through the window and sleep adjacent to the washer dryer. You will not go into the living quarters until you hear the three knocks. <laughs> Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. You're getting sloppy. You are an embarrassment to America. Okay, you know what, guys? I don't need this from you. I'm gonna go, because if you'll excuse me, I have to go testify against my husband in court! <laughs>